good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i'm back with another tinkercad circuit this one my friends is a challenge so let's get cracking as usual you need to sign in to tinkercad choose circuits and create a new circuit we'll always start by naming it this first one is going to be called the nine volt challenge once you've got that done, bring out a breadboard, and since it's a 9-volt challenge, let's bring out the 9-volt battery and rotate it around as well. I kind of like it when it's aimed like this, so I can connect that positive to the positive. I'm going to change that to a red wire so that it makes sense to me, and then I'm also going to do the negative to the negative and make it a black wire just so it's visually pleasing. The next step I'm going to do is bring in a slide switch. I'm going to drop this little fella in here and I'm going to put him down at the bottom so it's easy to see where the wires connect. I'm going to have the electricity come in on this pin. I'm going to leave it green and then I'm going to move from this pin to my creation just a couple pins over. We're going to use a bunch of LEDs, and that's the challenge, is to find out just how many LEDs you can power with just one 9-volt battery. And we're going to do that by putting a resistor in. The first resistor is going to be just placed in line. Notice these are always in line. Each of these rows works together, and this may be important for how many LEDs you can actually connect. I'm going to bring in my first LED right now. Remember, you can drop the LED in just like that. And then we need to rotate it around so the positive connector is on the front, the anode, and the cathode is towards the back because this is going to connect to the negative side. We can test the current state of our build by connecting this leg to the negative. And then when we hit Start Simulation, and we flip the switch it should light up if it does not light up make sure you debug it to make sure you have all your wires where they're supposed to be while it's running let's check out what resistance allows us to keep playing and what resistance causes it to burst so first let's just be silly and go down to nano ohms and boom there's your explosion and it tells you that the current is way more than the maximum 915 instead of 20 so if we do these ohms no luck these ohms no luck if we go back to just plain ohms still no luck because that's one ohm total if we make it 100 boom our LED is back alive so the amount of resistance is what protects these LEDs from bursting. If you move down over top of it, you can see we are still way over the recommended maximum. We are pushing 65 milliamps, and it recommends 20 milliamps. So we are stressing it, which may limit its lifetime. I'm going to stop the simulation, and we could bring out another LED but it is way cooler to just do control C and control V because it keeps it aimed in the exact same way. I'm gonna move it over one so that the leg moves over and moves up and through. I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna just do this again, control C and control V and I'm gonna set a second one over and then finally this time, I'm gonna connect my negative leg back to it. When we hit start again, now we hit the switch, and look at that, we're still able to light all three, but now we're only five milliamps above, but we're still doing a resistance of 100 ohms. My friends, this is where the challenge comes in. I'm gonna stop right here, and I'm gonna challenge you to figure out a way to snake your LEDs, have fun with the colors of your LEDs, and see what the maximum number of LEDs you can power with a 9 volt battery is. Making sure you understand that you control the resistance and all the different ways that this can be connected. So have fun, 
see what you can come up with. If, if you're in my classroom, make sure you take time to show me if you set a new record or push the limits to something awesome. If you're out on the internet, if you'd take time to share it with us at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, we're at HLModTech on all three of them. That would be super cool. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.